Three simple steps to hit a million pounds worth of turnover in 2025. By the end of this episode, you're gonna understand how to reverse engineer your definition of success. Everybody overcomplicates hitting one million quid. Very few businesses actually reach the one million pound threshold. And it's because they're not following a simple formula for success to achieve one million pounds. And the goal has to be starting with the end in mind. So there's three core things we're gonna talk about which is automated systems, social selling, and then sales in general. But in order to work this out, we have to work in reverse. So we're gonna focus on sales, socials, then systems. If you start with the end in mind and you focus wholly and solely on achieving your sales and turnover goal, we can reverse engineer that into the number of leads, the number of booked calls, and the marketing activities that you need to track those type of appointments and those type of clients. If you're in financial services, whether you're in mortgage advice, financial advice or insurance. The biggest challenge that I see is all too many advisors trying to go after many, many things, particularly in marketing. You first need to simplify and focus on one core product that you're gonna sell, the one core product that can help you to hit the million pounds, and then look at maximizing every opportunity with that particular client over the long term. So let's reverse engineer the numbers first of all. If you wanna hit a million pounds worth of turnover, then let's keep thinking it's really simple. If you can look at averaging a deal or a sale at £2,000, you're gonna need 500 sales over the course of the year. If we break that down to having Christmas off, so only working consistently 50 weeks of the year, then that's easy maths at 10 deals per week. Now, in order to be able to hit 10 deals, you're likely over the long period of time going to be converting at somewhere around about 25 to 30%. So let's underestimate at 25%, which means 10 deals, you need 40 good appointments every single week in order to be able to hit your one million pound turnover, which breaks down to roughly eight calls per day. So depending on how you structure your team is gonna dictate how you choose to manage getting eight appointments into your diary every week. But this is where I see so many people going wrong. There needs to be more energy and effort in the marketing and in the lead generation to drive up the email database and to get those appointments booked into the calendar. And what we find is the more marketing we do and the more people that join our email list, we might speak to someone in 2021, 2022, 2023, and they only go ahead and book a call now. If you're constantly looking for the now buyers, you're always going to find business a struggle. So it's vital that you focus on the future buyers, the people that are potentially interested in working with you and get them to join your email database to give them a certain amount of value to have an initial conversation and then leverage email marketing in order to maintain that relationship and get them booking in automated. If you reverse engineer your sales targets and the numbers that you need to hit the million pound turnover, then everything else in there just becomes logistical in terms of lead generation and systems to manage that side of the business. So the second piece of the puzzle in reverse engineering, now we know what our sales targets targets and our data needs to be, then we can focus on the social side of things. How are we going to drive leads into the business? So here's a few big learnings for you in relation to social selling. The time in which it takes for people to make a buying decision has elongated hugely. Google have done a research and it's called Zero Moment of Truth. It takes 11 hours of research for you or your prospect to make a decision on who you want to use, the product that's gonna solve your problem, and to find the person that is gonna give you that solution and give you the outcome that you're seeking. So have you got 11 hours worth of content out there from blogs to videos to content on social media? I see too many financial services professionals wholly and solely wanting to focus on ads, but without any organic content marketing efforts. But I can tell you now, the people who go to my email list, when they click a link, they are going across to LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, looking to increase the number of hours worth of research that they're doing. When you're running Facebook ads, if you're not organically producing content, then people are just gonna see the ad, they're gonna go and look for further credibility, and you're gonna lose that inquiry and lead to another business. So you have to merge SEO, 
with ads. You have to emerge organic social media content with paid ads. The two must go hand in hand to make your business more predictable and more scalable and to achieve that one million pound turnover. So a simple strategy to follow when it comes to social selling is have one piece of long form content like this, a video or a podcast, or even if you don't want to have video out there or you don't want to do podcasts, go and consistently produce a blog. That's your long form piece. Turn that long form piece into short form pieces of content, mostly promoting the long form and driving people back to your website to gain more knowledge and get more understanding. Leverage your long form content and your short form content and put it out through your email database. You must be consistently producing long form and short form content so that your audience have got a huge amount of value to gain from you. If you don't build a social media and marketing campaign, then you're going to find it really hard to get the level of book calls that you want in order to be able to hit your targets. So the first step in the journey, but the last step in terms of reverse engineering is looking at automated systems. How, when the leads are managed, do you take them through the customer journey, maintain relationships, nurture them to become sales in the future? What does that journey need to look like? Who's managing each individual component and each part of that step? process. You need to be looking at new leads, first appointment, follow-up conversations, research, advice, applications submitted, and so on. You need that documented. You need to remove the repetitive tasks so that you can automate either through a human or through a system because that's going to enable you to manage more leads, particularly when it comes to automating the lead generation process, AI conversations, utilizing text messages, utilizing emails, allowing that to automatically book calls into your calendar in your diary is going to be absolutely key to your next level of growth in your business. So having started with the end in mind, you can now go back through and think about how this journey works. It's automated systems, it's social selling, and then it's the sales data and managing that data and KPIs in order to be able to hit your one million pound turnover. I would love to know what you think of this episode. Are you gunning for a one million pound turnover business? If you can make 20 to 30% profit margins on that, you're going to be netting 200 to 300 thousand which is an absolute life-changing amount it's going to give you the opportunity to invest your profits into assets and give you a sustainable scalable business for the future it's equally as the business owner and the founder going to give you more time to focus on the things that truly matter you're going to need a team of five to ten people to be able to manage that journey but you're going to have so much time which means you're going to be less anxious you're going to have less stress and you're going to have a business that is going to be able to continue on not solely relying just on you imagine having that holiday without your phone ringing so let me know in the comments did you enjoy this episode are you going for a one million pound business would you like support in order to be able to achieve your one million pound a year business we predominantly focus on automated systems social selling and predictable sales so you can track your ideal clients increase your database and get more booked calls into the calendar thanks very much indeed for tuning in see you next week